She actually posted her season best 9.850 on the balance beam three times last season, including at the SEC Championships and the NCAA. A pre-med major to boot. Extremely busy, I'm sure, in the classroom. She's doing a nice job so far. A 5'2 junior from Mandeville, Louisiana. She's very aggressive. You watch her movements. She's very sure of herself. I like that. I like that confidence. You should mention it's, it's very cool that Alabama and Georgia decided to wear the pink leotards tonight. It is. It says a lot about our teams in general and really supporting this cause. A lot more at stake in gymnastics here. She's just finishing up here. Getting her off the end. Nice job. She likes that. This really is her event. There's no doubt about it. 9.850 for Rachel Del Hise. Yeah! Nice. We begin on the floor with Georgia. We find Nikki Child picking things off here. Nikki has a great routine. Face the crowd. She's going to do her first pass. Very unusual first pass. Don't see that very often. Nice in front double twist. Again, Georgia looking to break a three-meet losing streak, something Susan Yaklin has never dealt with in her time as head coach at Georgia. And the floor is a good place for them to rebound. Yeah, let's see if they can do it here tonight. Nice job. Maybe has beautiful dance. She loves dance. As we mentioned earlier that um, she is actually a hip-hop dancer on the side. Takes classes, has performed, she sings, very into all the artistic things. She loves Christina Aguilera and Madonna. I'm a big Madonna fan myself. So <laughs> last pass. Double full. Really easy last pass. They're gonna try to upgrade that. Maybe playing it safe tonight. I'm not so, not exactly sure. She also sings, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a singer. Nice. Won't be as high as she's probably used to getting because of that last pass. 9.825 for the freshman. First pass, yeah, line landing. When we come back, much more. Welcome back to Stegman Coliseum where Alabama leads Georgia. We find Dana Folletti from the Crimson Tide on the balance beam. It's very important for Alabama to be consistent here. Her top score on this event for her is a 9.850. She'll be looking to beat that tonight. Lay out, step out. Get a wobble. But she looks very confident tonight. She actually has a sister that is a senior at the University of Alabama, so it's kind of fun. I believe that's one of the reasons why she went there, because she also went on her recruiting trip to Georgia. Oh, she chose Alabama over Georgia. Yes, she did. It happens a, a lot, actually. They both have fine head coaches, we should add, Sarah Patterson and Suzanne Yaklin. A lot of experience. They've been at both programs a very, very long time. Both are very wonderful programs. Both will leave a big legacy behind whenever they decide to retire. Dana's up there for flip flop and swing, swing down. Kind of unusual flight series. Doesn't look like it feels quite good. <laughs> kind of rough landing there. And something you always tell me is how mental this event is. Great it is. Gymnasts. It is very mental, and especially with Alabama finishing up on balance beam. They know that they can have this meet in the bag if they are just consistent here tonight. Nice. Nice job there for Dana. 9.775. Little leg separation there. Small little hop. Over to the floor, we have Katie Heenan. Again, the 5'3 freshman from Virginia. Very difficult pass. E-level skill there. Front passes. Two of the girls from Georgia actually begin with this, which is quite unusual. We didn't see anyone from Alabama begin with a front pass. Send up for the second pass. 
double pike. We were talking about earlier how it's important to do front passes and back passes to show your diversity of skills that you have. Katie's doing a nice job of this. Little fun fact, her favorite food is Chinese food. I'm right there with her. Katie loves his routine. I remember she got it in the gym and she was telling me how much she loved to perform to it. This music is great for her. How much time do they spend preparing, you know, during practice? Is it more on the floor exercise or do they spend equal amount of time on each athletics? Because you're in the gym with the gym dogs a lot. It just depends um, what event they need the most work on. Sometimes it's floor, sometimes it's theme, sometimes it's dance. It just depends. All right, great routine there for Katie. So much difficult in that, difficulty in that routine. This is her first pass. So difficult to do this front pass. I can't even explain. And it's perfect. She nails it. A good score, 9925. Marie Bear now on the balance beam from San Jose, California, a junior. Marie has beautiful dance and presentation on the balance beam. She's known known for her elegant body positions and arm movements. You can see here, very difficult. Very hard flight series. A lot going on there. She makes it look so easy. She competed in this event all 13 times last season. So obviously Sarah Patterson has a lot of confidence in Marie and her ability on the balance beam. You can see she's very flexible. It's nice, it's refreshing, very good. That's a very hard leap right there. To switch half. Marie is also a scholastic All-American and an academic All-SCC. Showing off some more of that flexibility. The judges definitely like to see that. The second team All-American on the balance beam in 2003, her freshman year. Switch leaps, travel jumps, wolf jump. Fulfilling the requirements. It's a nice routine she has if she can just finish up strong. Great job. That should be a good score for them. Front aerial. Very difficult. Look at that flexibility it takes. A 9.825 for Marie Bear. Alabama's doing exactly what they need to do tonight. Very consistent. They have the momentum right now, that's for sure. Let's go over to the senior from Georgia, Michelle Emmons, taking her turn on the floor, an event that she always seems to shine on. Yeah, Michelle definitely has some power. We saw this pass from Ashley Miles earlier. Double layout. Beautiful. Michelle is really trying to work on that smile. She always has a little bit of a trouble playing to the crowd, but she's definitely improved so much her senior year. Five feet tall. She is a short one, <laughs> <laughs> but she can get really high, that's for sure. She has some nice front passes, too. Very nice. She tied for sixth on the floor at the SEC Championships last year with a 9.925. And she's had some nice scores in 2005, already on the floor exercise. She is their lone senior, so it's very important for her to contribute as much as she can this year and to be a leader. She actually had some difficulty on the balance beam. Had two falls earlier, so she's really trying to hit this floor team and show that she is that senior. That that strong leader for them. I would think that's a lot of pressure for yeah. this young lady. All right, nice job there for Michelle. And as you mentioned, you know, you've never really seen her fall like that off the balance beam. She's seen a few mental mistakes on George's part tonight, a 9925 for Michelle. Yeah, when you're a senior, you just don't want to make any mistakes. And we have Ashley Miles, who did a beautiful floor exercise earlier. We'll see how she does on the balance beam. Staying her focus. This is a very difficult mountain here. It's risky. That's why a lot of gymnasts don't do this. Right on. She's a 5'7 junior, much taller than we usually see in collegiate gymnastics. She's from San Antonio, Texas. Just a phenomenal athlete here. expect great things from her later on in postseason. Got her balance there. Let's 
see if she can hit this flight series here. Very critical. Yep, way out. Right on. Just a solid gymnast all the way around. Really likes the floor and vault. Here she shines. Obviously she's strength. <laughs> she's done a lot though on the other events too. Great all around her. She's gonna be definitely one of the top competitors at nationals this year. She's also a four-year member of the U.S. national team prior to her career at Alabama. She won a bronze medal with that team, the 2001 World Championships. So they're very difficult just now. She's preparing. She definitely takes a little bit of a time, time to prepare for him. Double back. So difficult. We saw that from Katie Heenan at Georgia. It's nice. They don't take any deduction off you taking a little more time on your dismount, do they? Not usually. They can. It's up to the judge's discretion. She did pretty well there at 9-9 for her. Let's go over to Ashley Coupette and see how she's doing on the floor. Ashley's first pass is a double pike. Very nice. Solid landing. This is such a cute routine for Ashley. A 5-2 sophomore from Maryland. She's so much fun in this routine. So second pass here. Her front pass. Nice. Ashley's mom is a gymnastics teacher, and her sister will actually be performing for the gym dogs next year as a freshman. That will be awesome for Georgia to have two sisters that haven't had any since the Witchies. And um, who can forget them? Ashley's trying to breathe here a little bit. Getting ready for that last pass. <laughs> I like that <laughs> smile there. <laughs> She's having fun. See if she can nail this. It's going to be a great score if she can get this last pass. Front layout, layout. Pretty easy. But great ending. All right. It's her first pass. She gets very high up in the air and she just opens up. When we come back, the final two performers of the night. Welcome back, Melissa Moscow and Sierra Sapinar. It looks like Alabama could be on their way to a big victory. Let's go to Taryn Humphrey on the balance beam. Watch this. Very unusual, very hard to do. Never seen anyone in the world do that move. That would probably be why she is an Olympian and a two-time silver medalist. Very unique gymnastics. Watch this, incredible. Full twisting back handspring, flip flop, layout, step out, boom. Obviously a, men um, a member of the O4 team in Athens. Just amazing, phenomenal gymnastics we're seeing here tonight. Switched leap. Full tw actually, that was not a full twisting back handspring. It almost looked like she was going for one. It was actually just a back handspring half. Still very beautiful and difficult. Karen is Alabama's first ever Olympian for the program. And she posted the highest balance beam score on the second day of the 2004 Olympic trials. <laughs> Quite an honor. It's impressive, very, very hard dismount. I can't even explain to you how hard that dismount is. So easy to go crooked. Well, look at this again. Round up, back handspring to a double back flip. A 9.75. Just that her chest was down on that dismount, but still amazing. Over to the final competitor of the evening, Kelsey Erickson. Let's see if Kelsey can finish up strong here for the Georgia Gym Dogs. First pass. A little too much power, it looked like, out of that. Kind of large step out of it. Won't be that much of a deduction, though. The crowd loves this routine. Yes, they do, and Kelsey does too. <laughs> Second time she's done it this year. This is a lot of people's favorite part right here. Look at this. She just loves this part. Smiles, looks at the crowd. We should mention she has won the last four all-around titles in the last four meets. She's an amazing all-around gymnast for Georgia. We're, we're expecting great things from her in postseason. She has been a little off tonight, but you're going to expect that throughout the season. Can't be perfect all the time. That's why you have a team. 
She's had a four times a 995 on this event. She's, she's doesn't do anything that's extra phenomenal or extraordinary. What she does so good is that she has the best form. I mean, her toes are pointed in her double back flips. She's very hard. Look at how nice her body positions are. Very nice. She attended Anderson High School in Cincinnati, and she graduated with a 4.25. Yep, she is an honor student here at Georgia. Very impressive. A 9.925, a high score for her on the floor. And here's a look at your final total, 196.175 to Alabama's 197.025. The University of Alabama walks away with a huge victory in Sierra, a big momentum booster for the Crimson Tide. Yeah, it's a huge competition for them tonight. They came into Stegman Coliseum, probably very nervous. This is not their hometown. They definitely showed Georgia what they were about. They were consistent, they were focused, they hit, and they brought home a good win. The Jim Dogs have lost four in a row, very uncharacteristic of Suzanne Yachlin and her crew. A lot of mental mistakes out there. Very disappointing for the Georgia Jim Dogs tonight. I know they wanted to win this one with all their heart. It just didn't happen. They were a little bit, they were inconsistent, had some uncharacteristic mistakes. It's too bad, but they need to regain their focus for next weekend because they're facing the number one team in the country. Well, the Jim Dogs will try to get back on, on track next week against Utah. We will see you all then. Thanks so much for watching UGA Gymnastics here on CSS. Good night, everybody.